On this episode of Challenge Accepted, I am going to Flight Attendant Academy. For this episode, we actually got to travel all the way to Dubai to train with Dynamic Advanced Training, which is an incredible state-of-the-art facility that trains cabin crew for the most extreme situations. So fasten your seatbelts, tray tables up, and Challenge Accepted. Hassan, it is so nice to meet you. Likewise. I am so excited to be here today. What are some of the things I can expect? Surprises. That's all you should expect. <laughs> Back in the day, being a flight attendant used to be like so sexy and like Pan Am. I mean, it was so romanticized. But we are not waiters of the sky. We are first responders and our main reason we're there is to protect you in case anything were to ever happen. And there's a lot of things that can happen. One of the things Michelle's actually gonna learn this week is how to put out a fire. So we have over here a fire extinguisher. You have something we call a PBE, which is a protective breathing equipment to help you protect with the effects of smoke around you. When do I get to use this? Never. Okay, so we keep this down, okay. we load this, yes. Coming in. Whoa, this is so cool. Is this like simulating the inside of a plane, but everything yes. is fireproof? Yes. Oh, you even have a computer here. Yes, okay. not for long. Here's where I want your input. What do you do when you're in the middle of your service and you see fire out of, um, well, let's say. Um, Are you starting a fire right now? Yes. Well, oh my God. What do we do? What do we do? We grab a oh fire extinguisher. Oh my God, there's a fire in here. What we need to grab a fire extinguisher. Oh my God, Hurry up. this is going. Grab Dude, a fire extinguisher. There's no warning. Oh my Very God. Good. Oh my God. And here we are, we're ready to fire. Oh my God. Just aim and shoot, aim and shoot. Aim oh at the base of the fire and shoot. Ooh. Well, that is well done, the fire's out. Oh my God. Hassan, you have tricks up your sleeve. So there's another fire happening somewhere. Duck, cover, fight. Oh my god! Fire! Fire! That's a fail. You never leave the hatchback open because you end up exposing the fire to more oxygen, <laughs> which only helps it grow even bigger. Why would there ever be a fire in the overhead compartment? Oh, there could be many reasons. I had an incident once where uh, we had... When you were a flight attendant? When I was a flight attendant, where we had a passenger who had brought some pyrotechnics, apparently, uh, because he was an illusionist. He had a plan to use them for his magic, okay, for some of his illusions, and it actually exploded in there. <laughs> Causing so a big fire. Development. I'm sorry. You had a magician. Yes. <clears throat> I only wonder how they got it got it on board. <laughs> okay, but it did happen. Well, it he's a happen. magician. <laughs> <laughs> After the groundbreaking discovery that magicians are really the true threat to airport security, Hassan gave me a brief tour of their private jet mock-ups, which I used as an opportunity to try and break Hassan out of his shell. I don't have any dance moves, so I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> But knowing you can't rush a good thing, it was time to board the flight simulator for cabin training. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome on board. This particular piece of aircraft can actually depict motion in four degrees. So we can do a crash, we can do turbulence, we can do a decompression. And, and it feels like the real thing, not it, like an amusement park. Well, I could, I could easily real. say very close to the real thing. So we're ready for flight. Let me close the door and get... Can I close the door? Go on. It's heavy. Yeah. And then this down. goes down? Yes. Woo! It's closed. Okay, I'm gonna take a seat for takeoff. Wait, you're a passenger? Yes, I'm a passenger. Okay, so you're a passenger. Yeah, so you tend to my needs after takeoff. Oh my God, it does feel like we're taking off. <laughs> oh, it even has the little bumps and like, oh, you can feel it fully going up into the sky. Ah, this is so cool. Wow. Hey, attendant, can I have my tea or coffee now? I would like to have a hot drink. Uh, we are not at cruising altitude yet. We appreciate your patience. Good response. Hey, seatbelt sign off. Can I have my hot drink now, ma'am? Um, we are not yet starting oh, our- seatbelt signs off, but we're cruising, from what I see. I mean, okay. I don't even know what these things are. V8 cabin crew. Oh my 
Uh, can, I, can I have my hot drink? This job is unique because in the midst of emergency, you're expected to have a customer service space. If it was turbulent and you barely could stand up straight, like you'd think somebody wouldn't order coffee, right? Where is that hot drink, ma'am? Oh my God, it's not coming. <laughs> Some people just like don't think like that and they don't know to not do certain things that make sense to us. So I think if you can have that empathetic, understanding mindset, I think you will truly be a great flight attendant. Sometimes it annoys me when people just hang stuff in the Florida closet without asking, but then there's been times where I've had to catch myself, like people have been hanging their suit to go to their son's funeral. You just never know what somebody's going through. Hello. Hello. Coffee, tea, or milk? Can I have a cappuccino, please? We do not serve those, unfortunately. You said coffee, I'll have coffee with milk. Okay, great. What? Uh, What's that? What do I do with this? Uh, put it over your face and use the elastic. Wait, I'm supposed to help you. Oh my god, I'm helping you. <laughs> If there ever is a decompression, which is where there's a rapid cabin air pressure loss, like a window bust or cracks or the door opens, the masks immediately drop. I don't know if you ever pay attention to the safety demo, but it always says put your mask on before helping others. Because if we're not okay, how can we help anybody else? I've been on a plane probably hundreds of times in my life and heard the announcement, do it yourself or someone else. And in the moment, I'm like, frozen, help you. Frozen reactions are normal. Okay, that's why we train here. So when it happens in real life, you've corrected yourself then. If you don't put your oxygen mask on as soon as possible, it could lead to you becoming hypoxic. Come on in, Michelle. What the heck is this? You're about to find out. All right, so this is our hypoxia simulator room. Hypoxia simulator? We are going to be playing around with the oxygen levels in your body just to give you the feel of decompression. Is this safe to do? Like, it is absolutely okay. safe. You have uh, nothing to worry about. I'll be on this control center and I'll be keeping an eye on your vitals as well. Okay. So I'm going to be expected to do a bunch of cognitive ability tests while my brain has less oxygen. Yes. Sign your full name. Is invincible. Hey, if you're ready, we can start. Hypoxia is scary because the symptoms are gradual and you may not know it's happening until it's too late. Lightheadedness, your motor skills are not gonna work properly and there's gonna be a lack of oxygen and you'll be able to feel that and see it. Michelle, you can abort if you're not feeling too good. I gotta finish it. Heading 225, flight level 310. Take deep breaths. Okay, so we started the exercise with uh, Michelle is invincible. The second time around, it asked you to write Michelle is invisible. And your response to that was, can we, can we close in on <laughs> oh this? Oh my God, that before okay. and after of my handwriting. There are a lot of tasks that reminded me of the tasks in Among Us. Fair, you know now. How well, now I know if I play Among Us with my friends and get hypoxic, okay. I'm probably going to have an advantage. Yes. <laughs> You're in the exit row hot seat. <laughs> I need to know, what are all the tips and tricks for better flying? Staying as close as possible to the cabin crew uh, greatly increases your chances of survival in the event of a crash because they are right there to help you out. When I step onto the aircraft, I actually go underneath the seat and check, okay, my life jacket is in place. It could be missing. Like people take them? Yes, people <laughs> take them. People <laughs> steal them. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you on a plane? The craziest thing for me was topless women, but then... <laughs> <laughs> but actually the most difficult ones to deal with are, are situations where people suffer from medical emergencies. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she, she, did you just use topless women? Yeah. In medical... <laughs> the same sentence! <laughs> oh, I'm literally crying. Okay. I'm ready for the next thing.
Medicals happen all the time. A lot of seizures, actually, that's a very common thing. I think that's a really big misconception is that it is just this sparkly, romantic job. And while it is, it's so many other things, too. The job of evacuating 150 passengers fell to flight attendants. The airline credits a flight attendant for helping deliver the newborn. Now, those flight attendants are being called heroes. Survivors say she carried people twice her size to safety. If I could tell the public one thing, is actually you need to appreciate what a flight attendant actually does. It's very demanding and it does take its toll. First thing, you adopt your brace position. So your brace position is going to be this way. So elbows close, okay? So anything that comes and falls on you, you have this to protect you, all right? And this is going to feel as if we're crashing. Yes. Okay, initiating crash sequence. Brace! Brace! brace. Check outside condition, check the door. Evacuate, evacuate! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Jump and slide! Jump and slide! Oh. Jump and slide! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. oh Jesus. I am convinced Hassan has no fear. Hassan, you're so brave. And you've made it good. I felt like the final challenge in like Legends of the Hidden Temple or something. <laughs> do you know All that right. show? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay, Hassan's a real one. He has legends. Okay. Well, I was your only passenger, so you did well getting yeah. evacuating me out of but the aircraft. But what if there were like 300 passengers? <clears throat> That's what a cabin crew has to take care of then. And you're doing that all while dealing with your own trauma. Exactly. Of just having all of through. this has to be done under 90 seconds. In learning about evacuations, you get thrown so many different scenarios. So maybe it's you land in the Arctic. Oh, oh no. This is literally my nightmare. Maybe you land in the jungle. Hand-operated water maker. People don't know the sheer amount of information that we have to learn as a flight attendant. Well, that's for me. You go build yourself another one. Oh, it is pretty nice in here. Surviving in a jungle is easier. Arctic, still not that bad. However, trying to survive at sea poses the biggest danger. So for Michelle's final challenge today, we shall do a ditching scenario, which is an aircraft essentially crashing onto water. We'll add waves, we'll add rain, we'll add thunder and lightning, and it's going to be a very interesting session for Michelle. So this is after we've crashed in the water, we've evacuated the plane. Now, generally speaking, if there's rain or bad weather around, you would want to cover your canopy. I want you to figure that out. Okay. Anytime it does get too much, you let us know. Okay, signal me. Okay, and we'll stop. All right, very good. Make your way up to box. Use the net, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Use the next handle. Use the net, yes, again. Michelle, Michelle. Unroll it from the other side, yeah, yeah. Zip it, zip it, yeah. Cover it, Michelle, yeah, well up. Keep it covered. How are you doing? How am I doing? Nature will not cooperate all the time. So you need to be prepared when worst comes to worst, you're ready for it. 
So next time you find yourself on a plane, make sure to thank your flight attendant for their service. If you didn't know, we are currently on a mission to convince the United States Secret Service to let us film a video with them. So please help us get to 3 million subscribers to help make it happen.